put your ego aside because that's the biggest problem I see with some riders is they're thinking if you get a scooter that you're a pansy or something like you like people care quit being a little you know thinking you're all tough guy or something and you need to get a fast super sport motorcycle or, or a macho Harley Davidson right around here thinking you're hot stuff out here are you too tough and too cool too cool for school to ride a, a, a scooter here it's not always about being fast you know getting on a motorcycle and being fast to have fun you don't have to go fast to have fun you see I got rid of my leader bikes guys I, this is the most fun motorcycle that I've ever had but I'm gonna tell you guys I started back riding on a scooter back in like 2009 I had a 178 cc Chinese scooter and I'll tell you even though that scooter broke down that scooter was really fun to ride man and I'm thinking about getting another one but that begs the question for some of you out there should you get a scooter or a motorcycle I'm gonna give you a surprising answer stay tuned let's go for a ride <laughs> Subscribe today. Whether you get a scooter or a motorcycle, make sure you're wearing the full gear. And I have awesome gear. If you want to get links to this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield, my moto vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe. I never leave home without it. It's all my gear. I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> I love it. Supermoto. You no, know, I've had the Chinese scooter, like I said, guys. And you know, if for those of you that are new out there, and you're thinking about, hey, man, should I get a really nice scooter, or should, hey, should I just go ahead and get in the motorcycle world? I'm gonna tell you guys the reason. Actually, when I had the Chinese scooter, and when it broke down, and I wanted to get the next bike, actually, I was set to get a Kimco 300cc uh, scooter. Because the Kimco's are a lot better. Uh, they're, they're, they're not made in China. I think they're made in Taiwan or something. I don't know. But they're really, they're made pretty good. The only reason I didn't get that Kimco 300cc scooter. Because it was actually more expensive than that Honda CBR 250R that I bought. Back in 2012. It was a 2011 model. And I saw that was cheaper. And I'm like, dude. Why don't we just get, go ahead and get the motorcycle, man? Because it's cheaper. And uh, let's do that. You know? So I, that's the only reason. That's why I got the CBR 250R. Because it was cheaper. Otherwise, I, I could, may, possibly, could have been still in the scooter world. <laughs> Probably worked my way up to a T-Max or something. Uh, which are really cool scooters, man. They're like 500cc scooters. And they do like top out at 100 miles per hour. Uh, really cool scooters. You know, scooters have their place, guys. Obviously, for me, motorcycles are at the top. But, in my opinion, you should diversify your bikes. You see, I've had, I have, I've had the Cruiser with the Ducati XD Avell, of course, the sport bikes. Uh, my most famous being the CBR 1000 Double R, and I had some other ones. Um, and of course, I got in the dual sport world with the WR 250R. <laughs> Then the Supermoto, of course. <laughs> you know, I'm having a blast. I don't have to speed on this thing to have fun, man. Scooters are really cool, man. Especially when you go to a tourist town. Like when I went, to, my ex and I went to Key West, man. We had a blast riding little, I think they, they, they were probably little 150cc or maybe even 50cc scooters. Riding around Key West. We had a blast. We rode all day long. We stopped and um, went to the, we, we were pool hopping. We were sneaking in pools. <laughs> and then we ate at the Waffle House and we were just taking pictures by the going to the ocean on, on the beach and having a good old time on their little scooters. We rented them down there. You can rent scooters. Usually in vacation places, you can rent scooters. And we had a blast even though we were squids, you know, we didn't wear any gear. We could have had a real effed up day. I tell you, if you get a scooter, don't think, oh, it's a, li it's a little scooter. It's safe. Yeah. No. If you go down doing 30 miles an hour on a scooter, it's going gonna, it's gonna to feel just as painful and, and set you up for an effed up day just like it would on a motorcycle. People get the false belief 
that scooters are uh, a lot safer <laughs> and that's not true man you could get hit you could get hit real bad actually they could be a little unsafer because they don't have the speed to like you know outpower a car maybe that's messing with you from behind you're kind of stuck like chuck on a scooter unless you got a t-max that can bust 100 miles per hour but i'll tell you guys that scooters are dope i like them man i love scooters i love them you know mark marquez and valentino rossi they both have custom scooters man they ride them during before their events they like ride around the uh the racetrack on them crapping around man they have a blast on those little things and you know in europe scooters are king and like in third world countries like in the islands taiwan and stuff scooters are everywhere dude they outnumber motorcycles so i'm thinking very seriously about adding one man seriously i think about getting maybe picking up an older t-max and hooking it up you know what I'm saying? Just chill. You just chill, cruise. And, uh, you know, I love shifting gears. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I like, it's cool to mix it up. But it'd be cool to just jump on a little scooter and just mess around on it. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, have a, just chill and have fun on them, you know? Actually, I like riding scooters with other riders. Um, I don't with motorcycles because I like being erratic and, and doing wheelies and just being full. But with scooters, you can't do no wheelies and do, be crazy on them, which is a good thing, kind of. <laughs> keep you from having a real effed up day. Uh, at least you know, keep yourself from having an effed up day by acting a fool like I do out here. And you can't really speed too much on them, you know. But the T-Max, you can bust 100. You can get in trouble doing 100. But it's cool, you know, riding with, you know, when I rode with my ex-fiance, we were just chilling, cruising all through Key West. And, and uh, uh, another vacation spot I went to, we rode scooters. We had a blast. And uh, so I recommend it, man. It's just what, what you want to do if you don't put your ego aside, guys, okay? Because that's the biggest problem I see with some riders is they're thinking if you get a scooter that you're a pansy or something. Like, you, like people care. Like I, these people really care out here what you ride. Nobody cares. The only person that cares is you. You know what I'm saying? So put your ego aside. Quit being a little, you know, thinking you're all tough guy or something and you need to get a fast super sport motorcycle or, or a macho Harley Davidson right around here thinking you're hot stuff out here. You know what I'm saying? Or a sport bike rider riding around looking like you're fast, like you're a Valentino Rossi or something out here. And a lot of you guys ain't got, don't have no skills. <laughs> Baby, good times out here. <laughs> he didn't like that. That guy didn't like that. See, on the scooter, you can't do that. You can't. You don't upset people. So they, they, these neighbors will probably like you on your little scooter, man. <laughs> yeah, baby, having a good old time out here on my supermoto. Having fun. You don't even have to go fast on this, man. Just like the little scooters, you don't have to go fast on those. Have fun, just cruising out here with your friends, just chilling. You know what I'm saying? But make sure you're wearing that gear, though. You know what I'm saying, guys? And slow it down out here, man. Stop being a fool and speeding out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't be like Cycle Cruise out here acting a fool. You know what I'm saying? Just chill. You got to cruise. That's why my name's Cycle Cruiser because I'm just cruising sometimes. Out here. Yeah. Having a good old time out here. Yeah. But anyways, guys. Leave a comment below. What do you guys think about scooters? I'd love to hear your feedback. See what you guys think about scooters. You think they're for pansies? I want to hear. You know, are, you, are you too tough and too cool? Too cool for school to ride a, a, a scooter? Leave a comment below, dude. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my All of a Motorcycle channel. And check out my other channel. Bug Out Mojo. 
Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new writers and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto. <laughs>